Uh, well, it's been at least a month since you started work on the port. And, well, the new port is finished. And let me just show you the new world map real quick. And yeah, and yeah, I kind of screwed up because I forgot one thing, but anyway. This is the new port. Excellent. This is a new forest area. Guessing and it's not massive, this is the, but huh? uh, it's, better than, it's better than what was the once down south. Yeah. And I and I actually forgot to um this is the new um mine where the dwarves are at. I just forgot to actually put it there. It's fine. That's their new mine. They can live that and they can mine that as much as they want. And the bartender is actually out um finishing the um the bartender is out finishing the doing the finishing touches on the new bar on the new bar in the port. The bar absolutely huh? would join him. <laughs> well the door the door is like like oh wow soon I'm gonna have my own bar like how can I ever thank you uh, was that Enzo? Yeah. Yeah. She's she, 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 by she, just she, her, by licking her. She's she's in charge of the bar until her father gets back. Then she's gonna go to her new bar. Enzo was uh, Bitten's response to her question just by licking her. Oh, thank you. And uh, and coming onto the door is a tiger. Huh? The tiger walks up and tries to hand the note to, and tries to hand the note to Walt to William. I'll uh, I'll take the note. Make sure to toss some meat at the tiger as a thank you. Uh, which William icon is yours? <laughs> anyway, did you figure the cock, the shadow clone jutsu? He likes sitting at this table usually nearby the entrance. Yeah, I'm just too lazy to actually draw a target just so no drop off and leave. <laughs> but anyway, the note the note actually is from the um the mob the mob account is like uh greetings. A couple a couple of news. Apparently when the new port arrived, the king actually increased the increased the guard in the city. Which city? Our city or the other city? The other city. Okay. Therefore, therefore, it makes it very difficult to um, let's just say, cyber saw support permanently. The second thing is that while and and while the while the king's bodyguard so so is is well. Is very secretive, and most of her files are in the castle itself. The only thing we did get is that apparently she has, despite the fact that she's supposed to be celibate, do everything. She apparently has a boyfriend in the lower in the lower guards. Do with it as you will. Technically speaking, being celibate means you're just. Uh, let's see. I'm. I'm. I meant she has no. She, she, she has no marry. relationships. No nut. She's supposed to have no relationships. No nothing. Okay, so she can have boy toys then. Not even that. No, nope, that'd be a vow of chastity. Like pretty much, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm surprised the monk was. I thought. I thought if she's getting boosted key from that, um, then she shouldn't be able to do that. But what if she's getting her boost and keys by that? Well, the, the, the key boost is pretty limited. There, yeah, I remember right. The monks have some pretty unique abilities. There, yeah, they're like like there's like a vow of poverty they can take that will um, allow them to generate more key. What was it? Um, nope. 
Hmm. I could anyway, be wrong. do with this news what you will. If you if you want to send news back, just just write a note to put the tiger in, and put it in the mouth of the tiger. If not, then just pet the tiger and it'll be on its way. Great. I'll um I'll send some general news uh, back. All right, I assume we put the the note in the tiger's mouth, and he's on his way back to you to the account. Yep. It. Yep. Uh. Anyway, um, I guess the only per two people in town is William and um, it's William and and Nora. Uh, anyway, I'll just do this. One of, the, one of the guards on your take walks in and says, Um, boss? There's a strange woman outside. Look at one of the lamps. I'll, um, I'll go. Okay. Before Will goes out, Mittens goes up to Will and you know, tries to hand him a fork. A fork? It's a stabby thing. Mittens is a pony. <laughs> or perhaps she knows exactly what a fork is. We don't know. Anyway, make me make me a perception check if she if you can find her. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Actually, I'm going to skip. Here. Actually, I'm going to skip, skip the perception check since the guard, the guard, dude was just pointing out to where she is. Yeah, the guard would probably just say, "Oh yeah, uh, there's this person on like the corner of third and fifth that's yeah with the lights." You see, she, you see him actually take down one of the lights and study it then. Write down some notes. You see a, you see a, you see a bunch of chemicals and strange chemicals on her side. Oh, she's an alchemist. Yeah. Like, if I could remove this formula. Okay. Like, so I'm I'm gonna be a little bit stealthy and just go uh, observe her from a distance for now. And she's trying to figure out how they're working. Is basically what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, she has a partner that's, let's just say, not as patient as her. Like, can you hurry up already? We came to we came to this land to be heroes, not to fall around with lamps. I know, I know, but if my if if but if our um town gets some gets some lamps, we'd be more than heroes. We'd be inventors, conqueror, not conquerors. Um. You mean, you mean, you mean your, you mean your legacy will live on past your death? Don't say that. Oops, I fuckered that one up. There we go. This is my stealth. Uh, Twenty to stealth check to uh, to not be observed. Uh, yeah, you didn't. You didn't. They didn't spot you. Um. Okay. Does she look like she had? I'm guessing she's taking notes in a journal. Correct. Yeah. Does she have more than one journal on her? Uh, a the a basic journal and her alchemist journal. Mm. I mean, it's a little bit risk. Mm, no, I, I'm going to keep them under observation for now. Just have a couple of my um, more trusted uh, uh, gearmen. Um, you know, basically the little militia we formed. Just kind of basically have a couple of the ones that I trust. Just basically do patrol routes to keep an eye on these guys, and report back to me directly. All right. Well, she's in there. Well, she's sitting there, like taking notes, and then after she's as she finishes, she looks around, 
goes back up to a lamp pose and screws it back on and continues. Oh, she and disassembled it? Yeah, she disassembled it. Completely or just remove the bulb? And just like remove the bulb. Around it. Okay, got it. So, yeah, so. And where are they going uh, from there? Ironically, they're going to the bar going to the bar to rest before they actually going to the bar to rest. Okay, so they're they're going to sleep. Yeah. Okay, once they're asleep, I'm going to attempt to sneak into their room. I'd like to check that journal. See what she wrote down what she wrote down and figured out. And, uh, and we'll, which which one? Her alchemy journal or her um the one where she put down, well, actually, preferably both. So what I'll do is I'll have my um, owl basically watching the window, because I believe there's like a weird psychic link between familiars and their masters. Remember right? Yeah. Let me check wizard. It's been a while. I, I've got to check out what the, uh, what the because we're still fourth level last I checked. Yeah. Okay, so I'm checking what a fourth level familiar can do. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Your familiars. Numbers complete, that's fine. Um, using uh, statistics. There we go. Empathic link um, to a distance of while can communicate empathically with the mirror, cannot see through its eyes because the link is limited in nature. Only general emotions can be shared. Got it. So I'm assuming that we can have a very rudimentary language based on emotions that my familiar would give me. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So it, it's going to sit at the window using its, you know, mechanical eyes to watch and then it will. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, eventually they fall. Eventually the alchemist and her partner falls asleep. Okay. So, once they're asleep, I am going to, um, I guess, jerry-rig the room. Where is it? Sorry, um, uh, try to break into the room quietly using uh, my lock-pop gun, my, um, uh, what was it, Masterwork Thieves tools. And the oh, I was about to say, yeah, ma oh, Masterwork, never mind, yeah. Well, the thing is, the lock-pop gun does a plus two, and then I'm assuming that it would stack with Masterwork Thieves tools. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that would be a fifteen. Thirty-one to. Oh, oh yeah, it, yeah. Oh yeah, it picks the lock cleanly. And I guess I got a stealth to keep. Yeah, quiet. you had to stealth to walk in. Oh come on. They, uh, uh, let's see. Got a, let's, 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 they, 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 they've got a minus twenty to um. Uh, what was it uh, to their perceptions? If I remember right as well. Because remember, there's no thing as a critical glitch. Or sorry, uh, a critical failure With in skill checks. Rolls. Yeah, and their nope. perceptions at minus twenty because they're asleep. Yeah, so. basically it'd be yeah, the but break. it's a tie, and you know ties go to the defender. Okay, so while they're so let's see, so let's see which one wakes up first. Mm -hmm. I might have a sleep gun available, so I might be able to use that. Maybe get one shot off to keep them out. All right, uh, all right. Um... Which I don't have a a not number dice, so yeah. Roll up. Well, you can do one. Okay. All right. The partner wakes up first. Uh, who, who are you? Just gonna shoot him with the nap gun. He's already probably pretty groggy, so. Uh, you might want to take an attack roll because he's trying. He's trying to summon magic. Okay. Let's see. Um, plus, I think it's just the basic attack bonus, which is a six for me. Ten versus. I'm assuming flat foot touch. Yeah, and since he's since his, since he doesn't have his armor, that's a hit. Yeah. Then I've just got to uh, double check what the nap gun does. So nap gun, nap gun, nap gun. But why else have you used the nap gun? It's a fun one, but you know it's not one that you 
Use often. Use often. And I always, in doing this, I'm probably, you know, wearing something to cover my face a little bit. So let's see. Where is it? Map gun. <laughs> Down here. To map gun. Napity nap gun. Okay, so nope, that's not it. Oh, it's what it's what it's from the other book. Sorry about that. Nope, not grave robber. I need are you nap gun, here we go. Uh duration two rounds. Uh, weight three, enemy within 15 feet makes a will save or immediately falls unconscious. And the target is considered flat footed, correct? Yeah. Okay, got it. So he's got a roll against. I'll check it really quick because I do know the Steam Right. Uh, the Steam Right save is half Steam Right level plus intelligence modifier. Uh, plus 10, so half my steam right level is 2, intelligence is 4, so he has to roll against a 16 to not fall unconscious for 4 rounds. Alright, so I'm going to roll this and add two, 4 to it. Why are you adding 4 to it? Because I'm rolling it just a slight 3 oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, a yeah. Or so, tell that yeah. it's 4, yeah, but yeah, he falls asleep. Got it. Is he going to stay asleep? Uh, yeah. Okay. Got it. So I'll remove the little dart from his neck. And, uh, get back to work. This is why you have the nap gun, kids. <laughs> yep. Uh, so. Alright, the alchemist is fast asleep still, though. Okay, I'm gonna quietly go through her things, and I'm gonna pull out the uh, journal. And uh, just kind of uh, quickly read through what she wrote down about my equipment. Okay, while well, you read, and uh, she doesn't, she doesn't do, she doesn't copy the recipe exactly. She copies it and then adjusts it for alch for alchemy purposes. Got it. So this one's she made a mat. It's basically a magic light bulb, is what they made. Whereas I have a well, a, a, a match of uh, an alchemy light bulb. Okay, got it. So like you learn later on, she her. Her, she. You're only here on. She has no magical skills, only alchemy. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to try to adjust the formula ever so slightly, um, to make uh to have it fail. Um, uh, seeing that you have no alch alchemist background whatsoever, you're going to have to make a roll for that. I do actually. I do have alchemy as a skill. Oh, you do. Let me see. Yes, craft alchemy. It's not a strong skill. I mean, obviously, I'm going to... You know what? No. I'm going to check her uh, alchemist book next. Oh, your the alchemist book is pretty much... A, the alchemist book, despite the fact that she says, I can't do this spell yet, is pretty much a master class. Interesting. But yeah, the spell she has that she can check off is pretty much... Various amounts of bombs, like a smoke bomb, the saber bomb, alchemist fire. Got it. So the, this is like a low level alchemist. What? Uh, yeah. What level but but, you, actually, but you actually see like chemicals, poisons, mutations all across the main, all yeah. across the pages of the book. Got it. Uh, what level are they as an alchemist, roughly? Uh, she's they're both. She's like level. Uh, she's like level six. Okay, so a bit above us. Okay. So, yeah, I've got I've got an idea who these guys are. Um, do I have uh, if I look through the journal before her notes on what I on what she took about my light bulbs? What uh, w what are they? What is their current? Did you include anything of current plans about where she's planning on going? She she came from she came from Norway. Just she just got off the boat a couple 
a couple hours ago. As he's actually going to Rose Road to, to like I said, be a hero and try to, and try to make a name for herself to, try to make a name for herself so that her name could, so she could um, let's just say get her, get her city city more famous, so that okay. you receive more help. Uh, she human. Uh, yes, she is. Okay, what's the other guy? Goblin. Oh, he's a goblin? Yeah. Does he have a journal? Uh, no. 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 With, with, the, exception of, with the exception of her ma if it's magic journal, no. Okay, got it. I'll just, you know, take the choice notes, uh, um, take the choice notes and uh, put everything back the way I found it and leave. Like, like, the alchemist's name is El... It's Eleanor or Racis, and the goblin's name is Jens Lance. Mm, got it. So, yep, I'll, I'll leave them be. All right. Go back to the castle and get some sleep. And install uh, some locks on those, and install some slightly tighter locks on the uh, bulb cages. All right. Well, next thing you're back in the bar. Tinkering. Say again. Uh, just tinkering uh, like I usually do. Probably working on my uh, steam gun as I uh, most of the time do. Yep. And you see the alchemists are a partner going and sit down. Yeah, I'll leave them be. Uh, they pretty much they talk for a while. Ask to go the old back, then make their way up to Rose City to um try to be heroes. And that's to the and that is that the is that the main city? Yeah, up up north where all the um the magic things are. Yeah, Sorcerer Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much on the way out, it's like, ah, why do we have to go to a magic city? Because our because our own town is founded on magic and alchemy, and if you want to be a hero, you have to you have to be where the heroes are. And what the hell? I think mm. I fucked up. Oh, mm. I fucked up because he's already in the ah, whatever. I'm just gonna mainly be busy, you know, working on uh. Just general designs. Vamp will be helping the. Will be helping. Uh, let's get his name up. Vamp will be helping uh, Orca with the bar, setting up on the ship. Mittens is just going to be a pretty pony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, a couple minutes later, you see the. You see your favorite cat dragon, but this time a lot more beat up. Uh, uh, who? Uh, what well, one? One of the tigers. Oh, oh, a tiger. Okay, I thought you said dragon. Uh, how bad? How bad is it looking? Uh, let's just say this: when when the alchemist left and saw the tiger, she quickly. She could create the poison to have her to have him to have her stabilize. So I can just help the tiger. That the the tiger it's a tiger from it's a tiger from the um yeah. it's a tiger for the um mob mob yeah, yeah. I'm 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 gonna check I'm first gonna, you know, put some pressure on some wounds it's got, go easy, easy, then take the note from it. Uh, like, boss, this is bad. the the king The king hired some um, let's just say, may men to um, to try to run us out of town and keep the port safe. Well, I told these guys don't start sabotage for quite a while. 
Did they I remember, it's been, it's been a month, so yeah. No, no, I, I was talking like four or five months from now. Not immediately. Well, like we did, we didn't actually start the separatize for a while. Yeah. But they, they, but the king, but the well, to be part, the king is very crooked. Okay, got it. So he's he's making a move to take over the underworld over there for smuggling. Yeah. We'll move our pe- we'll move our people to our port where they'll be kept safe, where we have more direct control then. Um, and then I guess we'll um, have to uh, cause some issues in the underworld in the other city. I'm thinking taking out several of the lieutenants should uh, cause them some issues. Pretty much. As well as, you know, displaying the bodies in a pretty gory way should also put the town into fear. Make it look like a bloody gang war is going on. I right, saw so a movie to the town. Yeah. <laughs> Mittens and the Tigers share whiskey. If I if I could actually draw that, I would. <laughs> Yeah. Mittens is just an enabler. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, back in town, and as you can see, it's almost locked. It's not locked down, but you see, like, new um things taking over. Mm. I- including some guards that, let's just say, you look at their eyes and they didn't pass the academy under normal circumstances. Got it. The king is trying to squeeze every uh, bit out of this town that he can. Yep. I'll hook up with what remains of our underworld people that are still in the in this city, and just get the lowdown on who's repla- uh, who is, um, uh, who are the players that are trying to take over. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, so far only 5% of your underworld um, connections have been killed, but kill like... Let's just say this. The center of town is a very big... is one of your very big underworld bosses, like big in statue, big in importance. Yeah. He's been, he's been hung. He's been hung. And let's just say... And let's just say he's been... He's been hung, slashed like several times. Oh and boy, they're, 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 they're not, wow, they're not they're not fucking around. And and the, and the only thing says and the only thing says cough in his chest is pay your taxes or else. Oh boy. Um question, is there a local tax collector? Uh, actually, yes, there is. They usually have heroes, but they have, but they have an official tax collector. I'm guessing he's. I'm guessing based on what I'm here that he sends books back to the king. Yep. Hey, do you guys want to uh, make cook it look some like books? The tax, yeah, cook the books, make it look like the tax collector's been embezzling, and he sent his real books. Mm-hmm. By mistake. Oh, absolutely. Anything that can give us some breathing room. Well, also, if we can make it seem like this town is significantly more than it does, the king's going to come down hard on it. Because the thing is, I mean, we've been, quote-unquote, cooking our books a little bit downward, but mainly in the form of we're just kind of diverting some raw materials. You know, things like uh, iron and steel towards uh, projects. Yep. Yep. Not, we're not we're not taking gold out of the king's coffers, but if it makes it look like this guy's been taking gold, and that he's been potentially uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. So okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk with uh, the accountant, assuming he's still alive, and um, yeah, he's ask, still alive. Ask him who the best forger is in the organization. Uh, best for oh, that's um, he points at himself. Well, congratulations. We're going to be breaking into the tax collector's office, and you're going to fake the books that are about to be sent out. All right. Well, I think the tax collector's about here. Yeah. 
There are a couple of guards there, so um, you might have to fight your way in or sneak your way. No, no, you have to sneak. If we fight that, they're going to notice something. Is there a way around back? Tight alleyways? Uh, he has an alleyway or two. Okay. Uh, we might be able to... Mm. Could you stay? Could you stage a breakdown of a wagon, or two wagons, and make it just look like you know a scuffle that'll draw the guards' attention? Nothing major. Just a couple of our guy, a couple of guys we can trust that just you know yelling match, maybe a little bit of shoving, enough to get the guards' attention. He 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 picked he picked up a piece of paper, write down some instructions, and sends it and sends the other the other tiger out to um. Yep. To pass the news on. Because, yeah. yeah, basically, um, I assume you guys are getting what I'm planning. We stage distraction, we sneak in, we um, make fake books based on the real books, so, mm -hmm. you know, we have that. And then all we do is, we again, we make sure these are the books that are just about to be sent out. You know, uh, seal and everything. Then watch as the king <laughs> send, uh, sends in more tax collectors going like, no, no. These books show that, you know, you have more than you're saying. And the current tax man gets, you know, deleted. Gets the boot. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, the, well, the freaking, um, I kind of like, it should be done in about an hour. Okay. So, so get, so, so get ready by then. Yep. I'm guessing this will be like in the evening after the yeah. tax on home. Yeah. In the yeah. in the yeah, evening, they'll, just they'll send everything out in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah in the so. evening, yeah. Sorry. In the evening, you have a commotion about here, yeah. where, and of course, some of the guards, the, the guards run out, except obviously for the two theft collectors. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. I said the commotion should happen just down the street. From the tax collectors, so that they are th th these guards kind of have to keep an eye. Uh, out. Oh yeah, so yeah, so yeah, they they drag it to a commotion so that the tax collectors, so that the guards have to um engage. They don't have to intervene, but they do need to keep an eye on them. Yeah, they're distracted, and again, it's just like one of those just shouting matches. Either they're either it's entertaining the guards, like lol, filthy peasants arguing with each other, or you know, like mm, got to be careful in case they decide to do something stupid. Then we'll go around back. And if, try they to... have, if they have popcorn, they would have, they would have, yeah. they would have pop, they would have looked and enjoyed the show. Yep. So. All right, stealth of advantage. Okay. Twenty-five. I was uh, about to say I'm looking for a twenty, but obviously twenty-five is well more than enough. Yeah, plus whatever you're adding in. So. Obviously. Well, it, 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 it would have been a thirty. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. So, I leaf on the wind. So, um, I'll go in with the with my guy with some fake books, all that fun stuff. Then, is there a back door to this place? Uh, there is a back door. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? Okay, where is it? Um, there we go, perceptions. Okay, perception to check the door for traps. Um, back door for traps. All right, you see one trap, but it's usually an alarm. But it's just an alarm trap. Okay, that would be a 13 to disable. 19 to disable the device? Obviously, it's disabled. Okay. Going to try to unlock the back door then. I'm assuming it's a tumbler-based lock, so lock pop going to work on it. Yep. Yep. 28. Yep. The, 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 door is this, this, the, the door is open. Okay, I'm going to do one final check for any internal traps. 13. And uh, no traps. Okay, we'll step in carefully. While you step in, you see the captain fast asleep, and you see and you see several books, including obviously the one that's about to be sealed tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm going to cover my accountant as he 
um, starts making copies of them, but makes it look like he sent the like the wrong books are being sent. Then we'll then I'm going to look around for this place for any sort of hidden, uh, any sort of like hidden drawers. Seventeen to try to find a hidden door somewhere in this place. Uh, several several hidden doors actually. Oh, was he actually? Uh, was he actually uh, uh, cooking the books? Um, yeah, he was. Okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna look at those cooked books really quick, um, and I'm then going to. Te- I'm going to hand the cooked books to uh, my forger and say, "Okay, here are the actual cooked books. Make it look even worse." <laughs> and I'm gonna see if I can't collect any uh, gold that he has on hand. Um, and I would, I would say also make it note that he's been smuggling the gold um, uh, out of uh, out of this country to another country's bank, place where the king can't exactly. Ha- where the king doesn't have any influence. All right. Well, the the gold's actually being smuggled to a, to several different towns and cities across mm-hmm. across the bay. Nice, and we've got those locations because we got the actual cooked books. Yep. So we'll keep those actual cooked books. We'll put the 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 fake. Sorry, the, the sorry the the real ledger we're keeping. The fake. Uh, the fake real ledger, the one that's been exaggerated, is put onto the pile to be sent. And then I'll put the um, books he was planning on sending, the cookbooks, into the hiding places that he has. Make it look like he just got them mixed up. You know, a, a mistake that anyone could make. Ooh, that's that's evil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, 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 and one more out. thing. Yeah. You actually see that um, he pretty much triples the... He pretty much triples the port fields, so obviously he gets he gets yeah. the remaining um, port fees, if you will. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically, as I said, what we're doing is we're exaggerating what he's doing to make it uh, to make it look like he's collecting far more gold, so that the king overtaxes this town. Yep. We'll uh, finish that up, and then we'll uh, lock the door behind ourselves and get out of there. All right. As soon as soon as as soon as, as, soon as your as soon as the gangsters have leave, they quote unquote settle their differences and yep. go off their separate ways. Yep. Before before actual guards show up, and well, you're gonna have two less gangsters. Yeah. So basically, it's just one of those. Um, they they had an argument. The, they saw the guards coming. They're like, ah, forget it. Not worth it. And just got out of there. Pretty much, yeah. Ooh, and obviously I know the result, but um, yeah, we'll just hang yeah. out in town for a couple of days, see what happens. Huh? I, I, I would like to be in town when that happens. Ooh, well, to just to watch because things. I'm I, hey, I'm just I'm just visiting my uh, my little outreach organization out here. You know the little uh, gear, the little gearman's guild that we set up out here. So. I'm just visiting them. I'm just visiting so, the branch off. Okay, so a couple of days later, you see the king. You see the king himself, his bodyguard, and several guards and one paladin walk into town. So so goes to so so go, and behind them is the infamous guillotine. Ooh, and of course, what? a guillotine man behind him as well. So so goes to. T- so so according so 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 goes to to book ledgers, drafts the book drafts the book the the bookkeeper out by the neck and pretty much is the center of town where everyone's watching. Like uh question. Is Feb done helping uh Orca setting up the bar on the ship? Um yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're. Yeah, you were. You were watching the street in case we needed you to, you know, provide muscle. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm guessing we're probably sitting at, you know, the equivalent of uh, like a small restaurant with some outdoor seating on the main square, just watching. Oh yeah, probably everyone's enjoying watching. Lunch. Just enjoying lunch. Like. Like. For tax, for cooking the books in this town. Increasing the, increasing the, 
increasing the port fee threefold and stealing time for various locations, you're, you'll be found guilty. The punishment is death. <laughs> and like, it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm innocent, I tell you, innocent. Yep. Well, also, we gave them fake locations where the money went. We know the, where the real money is. Oh, yeah, they're actually going... Oh, yeah, after this, they're going to, find, they're going to go to the fake locations to, to find out where the, to find the money. Yeah, but we're going to find the real money. Mm-hmm. Obvi obviously, he's trying to fight the guards, which, of course, with the power that comes in. Smacks, smacks him inside the head real quick. Yeah. Like they drag him to the guillotine, wait till he wakes up, to look to pretty much look around for his final days, and then shoop, dead. Like so the king up. picked up his head, like let this be a lesson to all of you: do not, do not steal from the king. If I can have my wife put to death. You, I have no problem putting all of you to death. <laughs> yeah, you never actually made it to King's Castle, but yeah, he actually has his wife. He had to has his wife put to death to her for for cheating on him. Oof. Would we know why that happened? You're going to have to find. You're going to, have to try find the. You're going to, have to find out. All I know is the wife cheated on him, so he so she drug so he drugged the middle of town and to this day his to to this day his beheaded wife is on the t if you walk into a drone room his beheaded wife mantle is like right there. Oof damn brutal. Anyway, they anyway they walk out, and the town's now in complete and total fear. And I'm guessing the king is now basing the taxes on the cooked books. Yeah, higher than what they were paying before, so it's going to overstrain this economy. Fuck. Yeah. Why do you think I had him cook the books even further? Not only that, but I've got a feeling the king is going to be sending a chunk of his military in, uh, in, on a you know a goose chase to find the gold. Well, yeah, you actually see them. You actually see the military going to want the boats to um set set to set sail to um. Where was the gold hidden? But anyway, was it actually hidden in the kingdom? Oh no, it's actually hidden in various towns, including the including the town from from your alchemist. Um, associate. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, congratulations! You got the freaking book, book kill killed, and well, we got a bookkeeper dead. A bookkeeper dead, and the new bookkeeper, the new bookkeeper is um, tested town almost to death. Exactly. In fact, in fact, a couple of cities like I can't pay these taxes. Well, according to these new books, you can. So pay up or else. Oh well, yeah. Yep. And uh, uh, and our little gearman thing probably wasn't even being taxed all that much to begin with. We were just basically paying rent on a building, which probably has gone up a little bit. But we can we can absorb that cost. Yeah. Hopefully that all. Yeah, I'm also assuming that more pamphlets are. I'm gonna. Guessing gonna, you know, it, it, this is also gonna start straining this town. I wouldn't be surprised if people start emigrating to our town, given time. That would be a good incentive to get the town up and running, or at least oh, get yeah, the yeah. basic infrastructure up. Oh yeah, we've got the we got the most basic of basic infrastructure. We got the uh, we got things with again. We we're gonna have to make sure that magic doesn't supplant technology. Outside of those infinitesimally tiny areas where it does work better. Yep. Works better for rapid healing, that's for sure. <laughs> so. For the clinics and the hospitals. Okay, magic yeah. can stay. <laughs> and for detectives, 
who are yep. trying to solve murder mysteries. Yep, so. True resurrection. Yep. And, hmm. Hold on. Okay. Um, do I have, uh, have we been able to corrupt any um, officers within the King's military? Uh, only, uh, not yet, but there are a few officers in the town right now. In our town? Okay. No, it's both, it. both, 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 both towns. Well, in our town, specifically, um, I'm, I want to corrupt the officers because they're going to have more information that I'm looking for. Um, so, let's see. Well, I'll start with um, having our uh, guys forge them, uh, you know, a very nice, shiny new helmet. As a thank you for coming to the town to help protect it. Wait, a shiny new helmet? Yeah, a uh, you know, we have got the slightly higher quality steel thanks to industrial methods. I never had a shiny new helmet before. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Of course, sir. Thank you for uh, uh, for making sure this town is protected. And if you ever need anything, feel free to ask and we'll try to help out where we can. Alright, so... One second, because I actually do have a guard lieutenant over here, so... Yeah, this actually is higher ranks. Yeah. Ah, damn it. But yeah, this is the guard this is the guard lieutenant that is in charge of the main guards in, in this city. Got it. So yeah, I guess we sitting across from him. I've after I slid the nice helmet, you know. Ah, a helmet. Yes. Our craftsman made it. It's um made out of the made out of the steel that we've been producing recently. It's a bit stronger. So ah. a little, a little, a little takes a little bit less wear and tear. Bit more resistant to rust, things like that. Oh, thanks. Think of it as a thank you for helping protect our uh, humble town here. Yeah, I want to take this job if I couldn't help protect people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Though I am. Yeah. Uh, I've, um, and I've chatted with a couple of the lower guards and the sergeants that have been around here. They seem like decent enough guys. I'm. I am curious. Um, are, they, they, most of them seem fairly nice. Is that the normal state of affairs within the military? Eh, we for for the lower guards, yes. Yeah. The captain and some of the higher rank, the captain and some of my fellow lieutenants are power trip hungry. I see. And, and the captain is referring to the monk, or is the monk a private bodyguard? Outside? No, the the monk is a private bodyguard. Um, like the but. The actual captain is Brock Steele. Ah, got it. Hmm. Like, like they're I'm power not, trip hungry. Yeah, like, also, don't I'm don't not. tell don't tell him that though. He appoints the king, and well, I, though I'm, the king, I'm, surprised, the, I'm surprised that the captain is um, that the captain is not the personal bodyguard of the king. Well. That's actually is or an interesting or, 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 or selecting the or selecting the uh, private uh, or selecting one under his control to be the bodyguard of the king. It's unusual if the king chose somebody outside of the military. That is an actual interesting question. I mean, don't get I mean don't get me wrong. Between the if if Brock if 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 Captain Steele and Sol who got into a fight. Well, we know who's going to win. It's not. It's not the person in plate armor. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but you know, I mean, I've got to imagine that that you know makes him uh, seethe a little bit. Makes it probably makes him a little bit angry. I would imagine that having that one duty taken from him, his power diminished slightly. Yeah. And well, he does have a, he does have a power hungry streak. As in, if you do disobey a direct order, then he has a whole slew of punishments for vlogging to swapping the castle, and well, even worse. 
and I'll be right back. Food's awaiting me. No problem. So, um, you, you guys want to know what I'm thinking we're to do right now? What are you thinking? I'm thinking we somehow convince the captain that the uh that the uh, lowly soldier that the monk is having uh, an affair with is plotting against him that she's plotting to replace the captain with you know her lover and she does have the close connection to the king so exactly. nepotism could easily play as a factor there exactly and then if we can get him to blow his top and take him out we can weaken the kingdom so i have absolutely zero expectation we can convince the monk to go to our side oh there are ways Okay, but for now, we might be able to use her as a as a more uncontrollable piece on the board. I'm thinking, though, we don't, we don't, uh, we, uh, we will, we rescue this man as at the last minute, and then we hold him somewhere. Yes, we evacuate him, and we store him somewhere where she won't find him. I'm thinking we hide him in one of the um, old mine shafts of the mine, and only have the most trusted keep uh, um, interact with them plus if we're smart about this now theoretically theoretically you make it make it seem like as though the monk's lover was being used as a political tool to gain an advantage over this town and death was not outside the realm of expectations no no no, no. we, we leave this town out of it Mm, good point. We, yeah, we we will rescue him at the last moments. And what I'm thinking is, we make it, uh, we get the information to the captain quietly. Um, that there's this plot going on. We make sure there's enough evidence in the camp where the lover is, and we pull him out before the captain porches the camp. Because it sounds like he he would kill the entire. He wouldn't just kill the man. He'd kill the entire unit. Yeah, he does sound like that. Yeah. 
she'll she presumes him dead because likely you know there's gonna be tons of bodies but then we um we send some trinket of his to her quietly so it appears so though we're on her side no saying we have him and we ba and uh, come alone kind of thing <laughs> Full blackmail. Full blackmail. Are you falling asleep? No. We are. Uh, we came up. We're coming up with a strategy. What we're going to do? We're going to uh, basically make it look like the um, uh, the monk's uh, lover from the military. Um, that the two of them are engaged in a conspiracy to overthrow the captain of the guard. Um, and get the, and that the unit of the lover is involved in it to get the captain to blow his top and kill the entire unit, um, and then have the captain right. get killed by the monk in revenge by making the evidence disappear and make it look like the captain was trying to get was trying to get one over on uh, was trying to get one over on the monk. Make basically political infighting. Holy shit. Well, <laughs> while simultaneously we also evacuate the lover before the camp is slaughtered, make it, it basically kind of make it look like he probably fell with the rest of his unit. Um, and then eventually reach out to the monk with something uh, with something of his saying we have him um, and you're going to do what we say going forward. Basically, oh, this gotta be oh, this gotta be interesting. Yeah, it's political intrigue. First things first. I know I'm a, I, I know as a DM I'm supposed to entertain you, but I yeah. actually can't wait myself. Oh yeah, yeah. And we're, we're basically just we're just basically destabilizing the kingdom. That's all we're doing right now. Because at this point, we've pretty much got our town locked down, our region locked down. We've got a port. We've got mm, the makings of a militia. To protect it, and we're slowly corrupting the guard to our side. All right. Well, let's see what you what you do. First things first, we got to find out. First thing first, we got to find out uh, where, um, which unit the, um, the 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 monk's lover works in, which, where where it's spaced out of. What division is he in? Well, oh, sorry. Correction, we need to go on a little adventure to pick up the gold from the areas that we can pick up and then have the more remote ones handled by smugglers we trust. Exactly. Uh, th that, that would be next session, because I haven't finished running off all the new maps yet. What, they're not They're not just sitting in banks somewhere? Oh, oh yeah, they're sitting... Never mind, they're, yeah, they're just sitting in banks, like... Yeah, so, and I'm guessing with this documentation, we potentially have enough to withdraw everything? Yeah, you know, like, oh, like, yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's blah 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 money. Yes, I thought, I'm... I thought, I thought, I thought they wanted to keep it for the king. All right, whatever. Yep. So we'll like, go, um, pick ten, that, go pick up all that gold. Ten percent tax runoff, and here you go. Yeah, yeah, yep. And then you know, if uh, if if it, if, I don't know if this is a legitimate bank or a. Uh, uh, oh, most of them are legitimate banks. Got it. Yeah, yeah, a few underworld banks, but they're not exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. But so. they they have a few underworld banks, but it's not exactly anything hard for the accountant, which I probably should give a name to my next session. I, I'm thinking Philip for some reason. Do you guys think Philip would be a good name for him? Philip. Yes. All right. The accountant's so name is Philip. All right, since his new character, Philip. I'm also presuming that under our leadership, he quite enjoys the new uh, underworld. Well, he has he has two personal tigers just in case. So yeah, he's quite enjoying it indeed. Also, we're not taking nearly as much from him, uh, and potentially providing him with a, a more stable port location that we control more effectively.
Alright, now, alright, Philip is, Philip is born, I pr I'll put a picture for him later. Yep. So, yeah, so, we'll, uh, yep, we'll drain all those accounts to get a good amount of money, and I'm guessing it's going to take us time. And travel. It takes about, ooh, about, to be honest, about six or seven about four or five months, but... Well, okay, again, the stuff that's way out there, we'll have trusted smugglers handle that. All right. I'm talking about us... All right, we... the, the, lo the local is going to take at least two, what, a month or two. Okay. I mean, during that time, I'm going to be doing some designing and uh, yeah, of the train, so... We can do that on the road. All right, so... About a month or two later, you, get, you come back with, like... About ten thousand dollars worth of gold. Ten thousand gold, nice. Nice. Obviously, obviously, the the major gold is going to be for a while because, like okay. I said, it's going to be four or five months. So. Also, again, we're using trust smugglers, and we are letting them know, motherfucker, we have ledgers. <laughs> so you better have a damn good reason if uh, if you, we don't have all of it. All right, so like I said, a couple more months later, you have ten thousand gold. Then the, and and on on the other hand, like the the yeah. your neighboring way, town uh, is crying, as you can actually see some more citizens c coming to your town. Yep. Like. Um, how much of that gold do you guys want to spread around to bribe the guard? I would say a good 20 to 30 percent for bribe money. Okay. So that could be on the high end. Yeah, 3,000 gold. Okay, I'm assuming, yeah, let me let me double check profession. Because I'm assuming these guys are getting, you know, the average role for a profession soldier. Yeah. Which, yeah so basically, yeah, remember, Kiri, that it, it both is and isn't as high as you might think. It's weird how profession works. So, um, skills, profession. There we go. Uh, profession. That, yeah, uh, that also uh, means yeah. more, more, more town guards as well. Yeah, yeah. So you can, yeah. Let's see. Um, you're skilled uh, to do. Here we go. Okay. Um. Okay, here we go. Uh, you equals half your profession check in gold pieces per week. Assuming, let's say, average of 12, um, they have what? Uh, plus, let's say, a plus two, so that'd be five. Yeah, it'd be five plus, yeah, five plus one is six. So they get a plus six. So they get about eight gold pieces a week, roughly, I think. Is what we're okay. Assuming we're buying 10. So we give them like two or three gold pieces a week to keep quiet. Well, I mean that that I mean that's like you know pay, I said if they're making eight gold pieces a week and we give them an additional two gold pieces, that 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 is pretty significant because the thing because um that goes a long way. But I'm thinking the um the uh, the lieutenants because we it, because we want to put three thousand okay Ty if we put three thousand gold towards bribe money how many of those guards are we flipping to our side almost completely. <sighs> Three thousand gold. Um, yeah. To be honest, you probably you probably have like nine percent of the at least the tank cards. Yeah. So yeah, we're making sure the uh, uh, well that that's not completely corrupt or under the real the captain that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Basically, we're corrupting them to our side through kind words and, in a sense, thank yous, and and we're trying to say, hey, you know, could you could you do a favor for us? Could you? You know, we've we got a shipment coming in. We really don't want the tax guy to see it. Could you just make sure no one's watching when this thing comes into town? Or give us a heads up or such and yeah. such. Let us know when it's best to move things into town when the when the uh, tax guys aren't around. Basically, it's, it's just small favors. Initially. Yep. Yeah. We're just going to, as I said, we're, corrupt, we're corrupting the system. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know, as a yeah, so I, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to uh, what roll a diplomacy? Oh yeah. 
Do we get an as, and, Yeah, as you can see, a lot more people are going to the main bar, including one noble female that's... Veb is helping Enzo, Orca, and... Uh, da, 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 da. Why is her name not on my list? She's the other girl. Uh, the one right next to Mittens. Uh, Enzo and Orca are the bartender. Are the bartenders? But who's that third girl? Which oh, one? Uh, the one directly next to Mittens on the left. I think she's a server. Oh yeah, just a server. I guess a basic server, yeah. Right. Well, so I mean, anyway, this one, uh, I mean, this one's behind the bar this trying to help one. out with the uh, with bartending duties. Yeah, because well, right now there's two servers. And and so I guess you and the and the bar just playing his piano, playing his piano and singing lovely songs. Yeah, I imagine Mitten serves as like a like a, a mobile. Mm, she probably serves as like a server of sorts, like a big uh, place. A, a second, a, a third server. Yep, as a third uh, server. Uh, until, until they actually can hire more, until they can hire more staff. All right, so yeah, this the point. The, the, so you get the bonus to check. <laughs> okay. How much of an advantage do I get just for the amount of gold we're dumping into this? Oh, that's a lot of gold. So I say a ten advantage. Okay. Thirty-five. Just, uh, just perf, just on the dot. The chance, yeah. like, okay. Well. Okay, this is interesting. I'm interested, but be careful. But but we are equal stuff. Officially? What what do we need to What do you need to do? What do I need to do? I'm looking for information on a specific unit. Uh, all I know is that it's got a specific soldier's name in it, and I'll basically um. A, a question: Did, Was I told how widespread the knowledge of the monks' affair was? Um, was it common knowledge, or was it pretty, um, a pretty under wraps? Uh, pretty under wraps, but yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't it doesn't reach the captain, or else the captain would have just told the right ring and she be out of a job. But yeah, most most of the tenants that some of the guards know. Like oh, I need to know where I need to know where a specific unit is. All I know is, is well, do I, do we know the name of the unit he's part of? Uh, no, but you do know his name. I, I'll let you may jump his name this time. Yeah. Okay, let's go with Irish. English first name dumb um Ivan Nicholson first name Ivan um, Nicholson oh oh this Random name generator, man. Always. Uh, I was about to use some random name generator myself, but yeah. 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 Nicholson. Oh, from the dirty, the dirty, the dirty fifth crossbone unit. Oh, which unit? The dirty fifth crossbone unit. Hmm. Interesting. Where are they currently located? Uh, let me see now. Currently, it just got back from the campaign. I think they've been assigned over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
However, his, however, his lieutenant will, let's just say, let's just say him and him and the captain are almost buddy buddy. The Obviously, friend. he doesn't know, but well, I mean, here here's the que- here's the real question. Even though maybe buddy buddy is that lieutenant ambitious? Oh yeah. All right, the only reason he tried didn't try to take the captain's head off himself, besides the fact that he's sloppy as hell when it comes to sword fighting, is because they're actually childhood friends. But do the information what you will if you want to. Hello? Hello? Still here. What was the question? I was I said, what you gonna do now? <laughs> Well, first things first, we're going to need to get a writing sample um, from a couple of writing samples. We need a writing sample from the monk, from her, uh, from her boyfriend, and from the uh, lieutenant. And I need to start getting into some advanced chemistry. Because, uh, guys, I figured out how we're going to fake the documents. Oh. A That's form of disappearing ink. The lemon juice method? No. Time-based. Oh. It says one thing when the captain has it, and then uh, when it gets to his desk, and then within a certain amount of time, it'll change to something else, preferably after he's caused trouble. So that it looks uh, so that what he shows them is different documents, just random documents, pieces of paper. Um, and if anything, maybe something that looks, you know, bad for the captain. All right, I'm actually going to give you one advance on this one. Make me an Arcana crafting or or a check to see if you guys actually remember them. Actually remember them. The Alchemist book to see if you actually remember the disappearing ink recipe. Wait, they actually had one of those? I was going to make one myself, given time, because we've got time on our hands. But like I said, like I said, her her book was a master class. Okay. What, what, uh, so would this be a memory check, or? Yeah, memory check, or a con- either memory check to see if you can remember, or a con- or, or a con- check to actually make it yourself. Memory That's check would be wisdom, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Um, I think sexual reference rule. I, I, I'd use intelligence for it since it measures how well the character learns and reasons. Um, it, but yeah, they, yeah, it, it, it's argued as both. I mean, this might be one of the ones where you basically add both of them together. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I was. Veb's trying to assist. Veb and Mittens well, uh, will try and assist. Um, let's see. Would this be a craft alchemy? Check then, Ty. Yeah. Okay, craft alchemy. Um, yeah, you guys can at least get tens on that. I don't know how a horse got a ten on it, but hey, I horses ponies have an eleven wisdom. Say what? Okay. Yes, they do. Wins. Also, technically speaking, uh, craft skills key off of intelligence. Not wisdom. Oh! Profession is the one that keys off of wisdom. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay, then let me re-roll those. Yeah. Okay. So minus four instead. Yeah. 
So, 14 for Mittens? We're going to take your first roll. Not the new one. Yeah, you gotta take your first roll. Yeah, so Mittens fails. But I'm assuming Veb has, what, a 10 intelligence, roughly? Yeah, an 11. Okay, got it, yeah. So, you would help me, the horse wouldn't. The horse just looks cute. So... I only roll a 13 to try to recreate the formula. Uh, just because it's not... It, look, I, I, I can't remember what level it is. It's like 7th or 8th. I will replace it with my knowledge engineering, and I basically have super chemistry at that point. But until then, I don't have that. Yeah, yeah here we go. I'll let you roll one more time, because that would have failed. 21. All right. The first time you try it... You try and figure out that something is missing. You think you think real hard to the to the alchemist book. Like, oh right, I had to do I had to do some I had to plus some of these herbs as well. Yep. So you send some of you men out to grab specific herbs, and with the twenty one, you actually do the, finish the disappearing ink. Yep. So basically, we write the. We write it. We uh, we basically uh, write the. Um, I'm guessing. Then there's also a reappearing ink as well. So we write with the reappearing ink first, then the disappearing ink, and they are basically timed to swap it out at about the same time. All right. Um. Question is, where are you going to get the handwriting from? Exactly, the handwriting... Well, as I said, we're going to have to steal handwriting samples from each of them. Well, depending upon the predilections of the uh, monk's boyfriend... They, I... they may send letters back and forth to each other. Oh, yes. That and... I could set up a drinking contest. No, 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 we were never there. Ah. We were never there. We are never seen. Ah, one day that drinking that drinking challenge will one day apply, but not for today. Uh, if we, if we get this, we have to not be seen at all. Understandable. Yeah. So I guess we'll have to scout out that camp a little bit. All right. All right. So you scout the camp, and well, obviously the um, the lieutenant is running his is running his camp like a, a boot camp, if you will. Mm -hmm. And let's just say, all of you make a, per a, per a perception check. Perception. Eighteen. Seven. <laughs> Web. Give me a second. somehow oh my god <laughs> mittens actually got the number I was looking for Damn. mittens nays for a couple of seconds to point mittens nays for a couple of seconds and points out someone who's who looks like a guard in out of uniform sneaking across sticking to the camp with a sneaky to the camp is it sneaking to the camp? Yeah. Can we intercept him without anyone noticing? Uh, yeah. Sneak. One, one of you. So I'll make a sneak check. That's probably me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. I only. I'll, uh, I'm going to use a hero point to reroll that. 
God damn it! I was about to say <laughs> sixteen is good enough, though. Okay, oh. if sixteen is good enough. Okay, so he keeps the yeah. hero point. Yeah, yeah. So he keeps the hero point. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you. So, okay. So you intercepted the first. Like, what? What do you want? It's him trying I'm to pull out. Saying, his, I'm not saying anything. I'm basically just gonna have a uh, like basically a gun to the back of his head and just lead him over to our camp. Uh, what do you want? I'm. A, I'm. I'm just. A, I'm a, uh, what do you want? You see his long stories behind him, though. Yep. Veb? Yes? Make it look like a bear got him. Wait, what? As I, as I pistol whip in the back of the head. As I pistol whip in the back of the head. All right, just for shit and giggles, make it, make me a couple attack rolls. <laughs> yeah, Veb, Veb, Veb will handle this. I'm gonna check his satchel or bag. I mean, technically, I don't have the bite of Texas and not the correct totem, but yeah, you know, he'll be gnawing and chewing because yeah. I don't know why biting wouldn't be considered an attack in general. But uh, I'm assuming in like in the in the situation he's in, a twelve would hopefully hit him. Yeah, he's on he's on normal armor with I assume I assume unconscious. Yeah. For fifteen points of damage. Ah. God, he's got to look fucking gnarled at this point. <laughs> and that mittens is almost certainly helping. Yeah. She's a hungry girl. Yeah, as I said, make it look like a bear got him. Rip the rip the corpse up. Um, I'm gonna check his stuff. So, Where do I find his uh, stuff? So we just... uh, the satchels promotes a couple of food, a couple of waters, and a and a, a sweet a sweet smelling leather. Well, I'm opening that up. I'm not going to recite love flares to you, but yeah, it's a love letter. <laughs> like this I can't wait man. to, like I can't wait to see you, my love. Ever since I landed in this kingdom, you've been the one inspiration to me. If I have to protect this king with my life, and order to protect you, then so be it. I love you, and I always will. Signed, so so. Okay. Got it. So we got it. We got. We've got writing sample from her. And mittens is just eating the body. Yep. <sighs> what I'll do is I'll um just take a, a kind of a knife to rip up the bag, make it look like whatever it was went through there, and then I'll take some paper I've got on hand, um, and just kind of rip it up. Coat it in blood and rip it up. Make it look like it's just so. In case the body's ever found, they're assuming that any letters he was carrying are lost. Mm. So, yeah, we'll just leave him somewhere nearby. All right. So next, you soon. All right. What? Say again. Next, we're gonna have to. Um, what was it? Next, we're gonna need writing samples from the lieutenant and the uh, uh, and the uh, soldier. Well, the the term is easy. It, it's a it's a it's a regular messenger in full plate in full armor going back and forth to the king. Uh, yeah, we're not stealing from a, a king's messenger. That's a little too obvious. And he's likely to survive a bear attack. I'm thinking we go into the camp when he's not in his tent, um, and I look for like an old journal, something that could be missed, and I just rip a few pages out of it. All right, stuff check. Yep. God damn it, re-rolling. Right, good thing you saved your hero point, because that, oh, that 15 is just enough. Yeah. So Okay, so I, I go into the camp, I find one of his older journals, um, and I compare his handwriting then to now, see if there's any major differences. Uh, a little more slopping on the cues, but other than that... 
I got it. So it's one of those things that it it it, it could be fit. basically this is a solid sample. No one's so I'm going to rip out a few pages from that, um, and then we'll have to go and find the other guy. Then we'll have to go and find uh, the other guys. Uh, they're running right. They're running right now. They're running right now to um boot to boot camp drills. Okay, so I guess I'll go to his tent if I can find it and look through. Uh, no, uh, no stuff check. God damn it! Not enough. Can we assist? Yeah. Uh, sure. Yep. Yeah. I hate it when the dice. This is why I hate the D twenty system. Because I have like not the highest stealth you can get for this level, but a pretty damn high stealth. Oh, Mitten somehow distracts him, I guess. And Veb helps somehow. I think more is I'm a distraction. Yeah. Just a crazy drunken dwarf just riding around the area. <laughs> okay, so I thought to say just that, like the guards look at you the soldiers look at you like, what the Get out of here, you and they start trying to go after you to run you off running off the camp. I'd come out of your little really wings. I just want some good drink. I'll I'll I'll, I'll drink you anytime, says the lieutenant that as he brags and and oh. laughs. Oh, 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 oh. But, but, is yeah, but, that a challenge? I, I am an order. Of the, I am a member of the Order of the Flagon. If you think you can outdrink me, oh, <laughs> let's. Ah, uh, the Order of the Flagon would. Uh, the Order of the Flagon would joke. <laughs> Want to put down a wager? Ten, no, fifteen gold. And one platinum that says that you fall out faster than I do. <laughs> that just strikes down that one platinum coin, the platinum coin, as the down payment of. Oh, 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 oh. we're really going to do this, men. Bring men. Bring my mug and my alcohol, and my alcohol bottle. Yep. It seems like the order of the flag needs another lesson in respect. <laughs> I'm gonna snap into a slim jim. Oh god. Oh, what's he about to say, Jim? <laughs> See you all. Okay, do I find this guy's foot locker? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, some examples that I can steal without being uh, of his handwriting without being uh, without them being noticed as missing. All right, lock lock pick with an advantage because no one's going to notice you for a couple for a couple minutes. <laughs> Thirty one. Oh, oh yeah, you picked a lock clean. Just pop the lock pop gun in there with a couple of tools and it just pop. And you see the and you see the return layer that's going that's going to be sent to so so. Uh. I'm leaving that. Um, I'm instead going to see if he has a, jur a couple of older journals. Uh, yeah, or like pretty much journal journals for auras and stuff like that. Yeah, st stuff he's written. Yeah. Uh, now compare it to his return letter, see if there's any major differences. If they're not, just going to take a couple pages from the journal. Because losing a page out a journal, that someone may not notice. Taking a return letter, they'll notice that. Up, oh, yeah, that's pretty much no difference this time. Yeah, got it. So, taking it and uh, and slipping that into my bag and getting the hell out of there, and we'll go to our forger to start making a intricate web of lies. Um, and then um, we'll have to somehow ex we'll have to figure out a way to get this to the uh, captain. How do you guys uh, propose we get that to the captain without us being involved? None. What? How do you guys propose we get this to the captain without us being involved? I'm sadly going to become the face of this whole operation. Well, no, no, no. We, we can't be involved. Hey, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your distraction. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, it, well, yeah, it's uh, one of those. And the thing is also, again, the thing is, remember that the ink, t the ink has to be, the ink has to be timed and is timed. So it has to get to him, and we have to hope he responds the way he does in the amount of time we for it to change. Uh, well, yeah, then the imp here they could have just handed to the ones of the lieutenant. <laughs> Yeah, so. Time but I want them to see what's happening. Get that done. We have the samples of the writing. Yeah. The boyfriend is dead. No, he's alive. Oh. And who is it that we killed? Just a just a message. A messenger. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. We made it look like a bear attack. He just got unlucky. It happens to messengers all the time. Okay. And we left, you know, some ripped up bloody paper behind. So if there was a message in there, it was destroyed because the bear ran through the rucksack for the food. Which kind of has me suspect I'm trying to outdrink the boyfriend. No. Well, no, you, you're yeah. trying to outbreak the lieutenant and yeah. you actually win. <laughs> Enjoy your 25 gold. Excellent. Anyone else want any challenge? I've already had a few. Ah, you got lucky. What? Next time I meet, we're at rest, and then I'll see where out, who out drinks who. Nice. For, now, for now, buzz her off. We have training to do. And then he passes out. <laughs> I'm going to point to, like, the closest two soldiers near me. Okay, you two. Ensure that he has up us water. Second, when you lay him down, lay him down on his side. Uh, he, drank, uh, he drank quite a few, so you don't want him to choke on his puke. Um, yes, sir. <laughs> uh. They they at least respect the aura of the flag and unlike their boss. So. Yeah. Especially since they they obviously know what how to deal with over drinking. Yeah. Yippee! Twenty five gold pieces in char. Okay. And you. And he points to like a, a wary, you know, like just some random like knight. Steward type thing. Y yes. Uh, clean at the tables. He definitely spilled quite a bit of the brew in the area. Uh, yes, sir. And I, I assume the private does just that. Well, properly address them as to where they should go. Um, sir, and that's sure, sir, and that's sure. All right, and I point to somebody that looks like they're playing a musical instrument. Keep playing. Um. Okay, and he beats on some drums some more. All right, me and Mittens then just, you know, go off into the sunset. And Western Mitt music accompanying. <laughs> Yeah, they they're happy. They happy at least for one for one night. They have to they have to run they have to run around like like base recruits. All right, so you try and figure out um who you're going to get the lair to to get to the captain himself. Well, the thing is that we're going to have a packet of correspondence that um, we have to somehow get to him without us being involved in getting it to him. We also don't want to um, get any of our... Um, uh, we, we also have to make sure that it has to be timed just right so when he gets it, it still has the right information on it that we want him to see, and then it turns into the wrong information. I'm thinking just looks like... We make it look like generic... The, basically, the fake stuff, it's generic reports. Yeah, I'm actually going to give you this freebie. Um, okay. The tent is looking at like... You know I could just give it to him, right? I do have to report to the captain every couple... 
every week or two, right? You, you think I'd tell our the guy we're bribing that we're doing this? Oh, right. Yeah. So you need so you need yeah. someone else. So you need someone else. Yeah, we need somebody else. Do we have anyone inside the castle? Uh, no, you do not. Not okay. We don't have anyone inside the castle. We're not gonna want to break into the castle. That's a bad idea. Um. Let's see. Because again, yeah, it's one of those things. We've we've got all the pieces. But the problem is the delivery method. We can't be we can't be involved in it. Yeah, us getting involved is just going to create too many complications, yeah. and our faces will become known. Yeah, we we we. we I mean. We could look. We could, with, without telling our guy, we could leave some paperwork out. May, maybe um, we add an because uh, I'm assuming that there was regular message. Well, okay. What if no no? What if we? It, well, we even though the I'm assuming messengers have to camp for the night on occasion, right? Yeah. Yeah. We could track and make it look like maybe the wrong again. You know, make it. Uh, seem like the uh, the wrong information was sent, like the wrong book was sent with some of the correspondence that's meant to go to the um, uh, to the uh, captain. Ah, uh, make me a stealth check with an advantage. Yeah. So okay. Can we um, assist? Yeah. No, no. no uh, um, I'm guessing assist. They're just kind of spotting for me and using the radio to tell me where they're. Yep. Assist, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can use spy glasses and tell me where it's uh, when it's safe to go. So. So go ahead and uh, roll your assistance. Yep, some or nope. <clears throat> nope from either of them. Okay, I'm including the advantage, which you said is five. Yeah. 22 to kind of sneak into that camp um, and uh, just slip an extra kind of bundle of papers into the uh, satchel. Mm. Champagne, do you want to help? Yeah. Hola. What? Stealth check. Help me get into the camp without being seen. I'm... I'm gonna. I'm willing to roll a hero point as well. Mm. Well, but also, Ty, what's the DC target? Twenty-five. Okay, you realize that's an above-average roll, right? It, Under the circumstances. All right, that I got you. Even, yeah, even even if that, I think that yeah. I think Bob has them. Okay, yeah, with the two Bob, of them help. Yeah, yeah. That puts you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just saying you. that some of the DC targets that you've been putting at us, they're unusually high for our level. Uh, true. Yeah. But yeah, they, but yeah, every yeah. they're still over the top. So yeah, you find yeah. them. Yeah. You find the you find the um what you call it and yeah. You find the you set you find the messenger bag. Yep, and I'll just slip it into the messenger bag into the, some of the stuff that I know is going to the captain. Right, you slip it in and. Yep, we had and we had our forger forge it all so using those writing samples. Backdated it, you know. Maybe even included some uh, other references, um, and yeah. So, and then I guess we'll just uh, we'll just wait outside this camp for when the, the captain's gonna come down in a fucking huff. Uh, okay. So here's what happens. Mm -hmm. The next two days later, you actually see like a big. Like someone big armor and big mean walking down with a couple of higher rank lieutenants walking down to the camp. He has a battle axe on him and it looks like he's ready to use it. Where does he go first? No, it's just, he he went from the he went from the castle yeah, straight yeah, yeah. to Guys the camp. Oh got it. So so yeah, we're watching the capital um and then we can we can outpace them with our vehicle. Yeah. 
Yep. So. Okay. And of course, they get into a fight right away. Uh, question is so got it. So the, it, are they are they bringing their own units with them as well, or just you know like five or six guys? Five or six guys, but five or six is the most five or six is the most trusted guys to take out an entire unit. How many uh, guys it, are in the crossbow unit? Huh? How many guys are in that crossbow unit? About twenty. Okay, I can see that if they're high enough level. Yeah. Yep, like so. uh, it, it, it went from arg, it went from verbal arguing to oh my, to almost physical arguing to um, pull out your weapons arg, pull out your weapons arguing. And we better be gra- and we better be sneaking in and grabbing that one guy. <laughs> Hopefully, in a rage, this guy thinks he got all of them. So all right, tw- all right, twenty for stealth check. <laughs> yep, so that twenty fifteen for stealth check. Yep. Seventeen. So I, I rolled decent enough on my own to grab yeah. this guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to with some animal blood. Um, I basically, I, I'm assuming what I could just full on knock him out, then kind of hand him off to uh, Veb. Yeah. So we'll strip him down from his armor, um, and then we'll just throw some chunks of meat into the armor. Uh, ba- and basically, we'll, we'll bloody up the armor, dent it up. Um, we'll uh, make sure any personal things like necklaces and trinkets we keep with us. Well, you don't. No, no. We'll, we'll we'll fuck up his helmet before we go, uh, and we'll leave his like uh, if they've got dog tags, we'll leave the dog tags behind. All right. Yep. Just so we've got this guy, and we are making straight for the fucking mines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the to the, hide this guy to hide this. Guy. A, it pretty much is the captain's. Elite, pretty much all lieutenant, yeah. all of your fire axes or swords, and yeah, they, they yeah, slaughtered cap, the entire cap, camp. Yeah, captain, captains, the captain and lieutenant versus a lieutenant and a bunch of privates. Yeah, so yeah, so uh, yeah, so the entire camp is slaughtered. Yeah, yeah, like that teaches them to that teaches them to disobey orders. And checking my pocket watch, I'm assuming by now the ink has changed. Uh, to just yeah, generic yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun for him to explain. Uh. And we are, as I said, we're going to we're going to the mines, and we're hiding this guy in one of the mines, <laughs> where he's under twenty four hour guard. He eventually, he is wakes, not a, yeah. he eventually wakes up. Where am I? What happened? So it, I'm guessing he's in a cell up there. Yeah, yeah. And like last time, the, now, last time I checked, the captain and and the and the and the evil lieutenant and the sinister and the sinister and, force yep, was and watching it, and he'll, he'll see, uh, and he'll see myself just wearing a mask, going like, "Don't worry, he'll be safe. Just keep quiet." And then my guy will walk away. As he, he he probably realizes he's in a cell in a place he does not recognize. Yeah. Yep. So obviously our people will have no insignias. They'll wear generic weaponry. Um, just in case by some miracle he finds a way out. Locks are checked daily for tampering. He's regularly searched to make sure he doesn't have anything. So basically, we're maximum securing this guy. And also, since we don't follow, you know, human rights conventions, he he doesn't get an hour out in the daylight. He's just in the jail cell. (laughs) We'll keep him fed. Of course, but, you know. Uh, All right, so he's in the jail and... He's in a jail cell buried deep within one of the parts of the mines that's already been drained, where we have no mining operations going on. So no one knows we have this guy except for a handful of trusted guards from this community. His existence is a secret. He's officially dead to the kingdom. Yep. Yep. Alright, so where's your next goal next? I would assume that, you know, we could uh, 
Well, I'm assuming we're just going to go back to town. We're just going to wait for news to come back about what happened to the captain. All right. So two days later, mm -hmm. one of the one of the major guards walks in like, "Oh my god!" He actually walks up to the bard to tell him the news, and he starts singing like. Like, are you sure you want me to sing this? All right. Like, this is the tale of the story of how the of how the captain got killed. He this he walked up to kill up to kill the crossbow unit, and the but. And the king's bodyguard found out. Within seconds, he, within seconds, he was on her boot, and a few more, he choked on his his own blood. It's not even close to. It the fight wasn't even close. The captain's blood is spread throughout the cast. I can't sing this. <laughs> So, yeah, the kingdom is becoming more destabilized. Yeah. Uh, so. Yep. Eventually, eventually the, the tent takes him like, like, oh my god. Huh. Like, uh, uh, yeah, now, if you sit across him, it sounds like your upper management isn't exactly stable. What upper management? The king, like the the bodyguard, pretty much murdered the the captain, and and murder is a nice word. Mm. Like according to reports, they like blood splattered all over the place. But unfortunate, but strangely enough, the some, but strangely enough, it's actually just some letters actually justify her action. So she doesn't get she doesn't get killed by the king her king himself. But what in the hell happened? Yeah. Anyway, um, a couple of guys had to. Uh, you two, you have to, you have to, you have to go, you have to go to the castle to help clean up. Mm -hmm. Aye, sir. Yeah. And this? Getting other people to do our work for us, isn't that great? Yes! Delegation! <laughs> yeah, because, again, now, you know, the, the ruthless captain's dead. The bodyguard now is potentially an enemy of any replacement. So it's going to lead to more instability. I don't know what I know. The 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 thing is like like now the question is who's going to replace him? It's probably going to be one of the the five dread the the R four dread members. Hmm. Yep. So congratulations, you st destabilize an entire kingdom. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the plan. We destabilize it more and more. Yeah. Also, the more unstable it is, the easier it is to corrupt the guard to our side. <laughs> it might be happening at a little faster than we would like, but you got to yeah. adjust, got to adjust. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I've got a feeling that our town is like the, the one uh, like stable rock in the ocean that people can hold on to at this point. All right, so you captured the boyfriend. And he's in storage. Until we need him. Which is going to be a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and among the personal belongings, we took, uh, I'm assuming, you know, a couple of trinkets. Uh, yeah, just some couple of trinkets. Yeah, those, those are being kept in a locked chest in our castle. That only we know where that that chest is. Uh, we do not want to be found with that. 
Just... Or is, or is you gonna have some? Or is you gonna have some main questions when the new when the new when the new captain um emerges? Hey, we're 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 just we're I'm just a traveling eccentric inventor that just you know hangs out in this town. That 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 that's all we were up to. We're just traveling busybodies. Just just ask mittens. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So. Uh. Uh, I guess I'm going to do some rolls for, you know, my engineering checks to uh, design the new train. Yeah. Obviously, I don't have a power source for it, but that's coming. Probably around 7th level. And engineering is a 20. Well, I should say you do level up after this session. Yep, uh, 29 to continue designing. All right, it's still designed just as fine. Yeah. Huh. Coming up with track designs, all that fun stuff. Uh, anything else you're anything else you're up to? Uh, nothing I can think of off the top of my head. Because other than open a new bar, I guess this is the end of the session for now. Well, yeah, I mean, as I said, until we until we hit seventh level, there's not much I can do either. Hey, just I mean, just reach level five, so yeah, I mean, once at level seven, that's when I start producing magical items. Ah, yeah, so we hit level five. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, technically, you did defeat an enemy. You just didn't actually attack the enemy. So yeah. Yeah. Well, you defeat an enemy, and half, and and one half town is slowly falling apart. Then you actually see more and more city, more and more. Um. Oh, I mean, I could also do a, uh, what was it? My um um a philosophy roll to see if I convert more people to the cause. Twenty six to start converting more people, as I just generally speak in town about the uh, you know the stability of technology. But like, uh, yeah, that and the, you know, true. and the march of progress. I mean, your town over there is mostly magic, and you see what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I need more summoning slots. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, I'm yeah. about to. Get, actually, I could do this right now. Actually. Yeah. It's seventh, just because. And you have a new summon slot. Yeah, I need more. Another one? Because I can now summon level 3. Just add a couple of more. Just five. Maybe not use every one, but good to have. I uh, guess one more. Yeah. All right, so you have two, three more summoning slots. Okay. I think I feel that you're actually going to try to fight the alchemist for some reason, but uh. no, 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 just just figure out what they're doing. 
Oh, nice. I get my uh, first first level spell this level. Neat. And a scout technique. So, you just you stabilize the kingdom. There's one last captain of the guards. And one of the towns is slowly but surely falling apart. Yeah, whereas our <laughs> town is just stable and growing. And which, we will eventually create our Frostpunk town. Which also yes. means the king is going to focus on your town since you're the ones actually more stable. Yep. Well, also, one advantage that we're probably going to come up with pretty quickly if we can get enough material for it on the water, because um, these because the engines are fairly cheap to produce for me, we could produce like steamships, ironclads. Oh ho ho ho! Like yeah. eighteen hundred uh, ironclads. Yeah, eighteen hundred style ironclads. Though they'd be using steam weaponry, not um, not uh, gunpowder, because gunpowder is explosive. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want that on a ship as much as you can. No, you I mean, don't. It technically will probably have incendiary and explosive shells, but those usually are a bit uh, easier to keep safe. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Ty, once we hit 20th level and we just start, you know, marching on cities, imagine the steam wagon, but on the back, like a steam powered Flak 88 gun. I was picturing more of the. Si have you ever played Supreme Commander? Uh, Supreme Commander, a little bit, yeah. Uh, the Cybran Cruiser, it actually could walk across land. No, I'm not making steampunk walkers, sorry. I'm not allowing you to make steampunk walkers. There's going to be something called a scuttler, though. And you know what its job is? To scuttle things? No. Salvage? It, no, no. A scuttler is a, a weird invention that can climb up a sheer surface. So... What it does is it will climb up a wall, and and basically I would imagine it's got like two steam machine guns pointed either direction, or has like flexible mounts so it can shoot sideways, with a couple of guys firing it, and it climbs to the wall, covers it, and then it drags behind it like a siege ladder, and covers the siege ladder so people get onto the walls. Hmm. Neat. Yep, so. But just to confirm, we actually did level up, correct? Yes. Yeah. We're level now. Okay. Yep. That means you're actually higher level now than most of the most of base guards. Nice. That's the case, I'll just have to level up my character then. Okay. Might as well get dinner get started. Have a good night. Yep. Alright, have a good night, fellas. Yep, see you, man. Hey.